what we need to do is to be able to use energy more efficiently, produce less greenhouse gas emissions, and be able to maintain the, the current level of mobility that's critical to our uh, personal and, and economic well-being. The long-term goal of General Motors is to remove our vehicles from the environmental debate. That means we're trying to get to zero emissions and at the same time have a huge increase in fuel economy, like a 100% increase. This particular Challenge X is just another stepping stone in our way to achieving that vision. The integration between all the different people, the sponsors, everything, to, to put on a, an event like this just shows like commitment throughout the entire process. So we're a step ahead of somebody who hasn't worked on a project like this because we already know what we can do, what we cannot do, what are the resources required, and we can move forward a lot faster than, say, a guy who's never worked on a Challenge X type of competition before. So, wires, I was lying up on the fuel tanks. Um, The best benefit of Challenge X is the experience we gain, uh, not only from the design and engineering, but then also coming here and being able to test and see how they actually test vehicles. We have a number of different engineers on our team. They perform everything from uh, working on the engine, working on the electronics, working on the software. If you come on the team as a mechanical engineer or an electrical engineer, it doesn't mean that you'll only be sticking to that field. We take engineers and apply them to a broad field and also focus their knowledge on hands-on applications. The primary value that the students get out of this 
aside from the fact that they learn about hybrid vehicle technologies, which definitely gives them an edge over any other engineer that's going to graduate from academia, is that they learn how to work as a team. This is a very exciting time in society for young engineers to be a part of transportation technology. Everything is changing. Oh, well, for now, I guess we can just connect this. With gas prices going up through the roof, it's nice to have a vehicle that runs on biofuels coming from, uh, you know, corn from the Midwest versus, you know, oil from the Mideast. The modern engineering environment isn't quite as segregated as it used to be. Now a mechanical guy really needs to understand the electrical side, and in cases that's vice versa. So while our curriculum doesn't necessarily support this multidiscipline approach to education, this actual program does. Hopefully almost every vehicle you buy will either be a, a hybrid or use some type of alternative fuel. Um, that's the direction we really need to head is away from petroleum and more towards renewable resources. Everybody on this competition wants to drive cars when they're in their 50s or 60s. And we will do what it takes with General Motors and the Department of Energy to ensure that we can all have the personal freedom of personal transportation in the future. I'm really excited about the fact that the Department of Energy and General Motors has allowed us the opportunity to work together with, with industry. We're all cheap, you know? And engineers, they're always trying to get everything as efficient as possible. So, you know, whatever's going to be reducing energy or um, something like that, we're all for it. This is where the jobs are going to be in the future. So this means everything to us to get in on the ground floor and uh, and do this. When I mean, very few people get to do this. So it's it's uh, it's it's really it's honestly it's a priceless experience. Do we need to find the other
So not only do you have people who are going into academia to continue the research and development of vehicles, but you now have the engineers that have graduated are going into the workforce to apply the current skill set that they have to make the vehicles now instead of later. So you're working towards the future and working towards now. And that's been a great uh, aspect that General Motors and the DOA have put together in this competition. And then, then we got a tab we can... Yeah, then just turn it that way. Yeah, I think that would work. Twenty years from now, we could look at the transportation infrastructure and see, you know, lots of fuel cell vehicles, and and know that twenty years prior we've been working on that. So uh, it is really exciting. The great thing about this is you see so much of the technology. You see it from beginning to end, and you see the whole car as opposed to one part that you would see normally in industry. Learning to work on a team, learning to work on a, a long-term project that goes on for three years. There's so many things that GM has been able to teach us about cars, about our careers, about being an engineer. It's really great to work on the Challenge X team. Okay, well, take a look. Okay, let's wrap a little bit. Back those on first. Come down. Do you have a rash with a wall? The hands-on experience provided by Challenge X, GM, and Argonne National Labs really prepares us for future work in the industry. The great thing about Challenge X is you get the hands-on, real-world experience. The first place winner is Mississippi State University. We're just excited and delighted to be here and, and to see all our efforts pay off in a first place finish. We've been uh, striving to do our best with the competition. A lot of long, long nights, very tireless hours, a lot of struggles to come through, but uh, we're, we're glad to see it all pay off.